Well, good evening. So tonight's presentation is a Motormax American Graffiti Moments in Time 164th Series 3 Diorama. Um, I don't really do dioramas, really. You know, I don't have that much space. Uh, but I'm on a Motormax kick, um, especially if I can get these American Graffitis. So let's see if I can find any dates on this. Proof of purchase, let's see. 2009 there, 2009. So I'm going to assume 2009, so probably a 2010 release. Um, which is most of the uh, American Graffiti and uh, Fresh Cherries Motor Max cars are from around 2005. Uh, so this is a Crown Victoria taxi. And unlike the green light diorama, this is um, sort of a, you know, a true diorama. Um, it's not just a car with a picture. Let's see what this is. So if I don't damage the package, there we go. It comes in an acrylic case. And... Ooh, wires. But we know how to take care of wires. So let's see. All right. A little bit of clear tape there. All right. So this is supposed to be Times Square in New York. In New York City. So there's the subway station, and it's actually um, got some depth to it here. There's a few steps, and there's a lady coming up the stairs. Um, Times Square, 42nd Street, there's a tourist with the camera. Um, a man with a briefcase and a railing here. And the old 1940s traffic sign. And a picture of... Times Square with, uh, I think that's TGI Friday's uh, awning and an LG electronic billboard um, and a late model Ford Crown Victoria taxi. So, I know I should have pre-opened it, but let's... Hopefully this won't be as bad as the green light wires. What fun would it be if I did this ahead of hand, you know, beforehand and you didn't get to watch me with my wire cutters. And I have the knife and screwdriver here just in case. So let's take a look at this. So the diorama is pretty cool on its own. Uh, I don't have, oh, I actually do have one other car that has a person. Um, but let's take a quick look at this. Crown Victoria, after I just pull these wires, these wires getting them out of the chassis are nowhere near as bad as the green light. I say halfway through. There we go. So, let's see. Crown Victoria Interceptor. Uh, China. Does it say Motormax? Does it say scale? Well, let's see. Any opening parts? No opening doors. Probably not. Yeah, no opening hood. Uh, just tampo details, headlights and grill with uh, turn indicators. And the wheels are chrome, city taxi, 
There's your taxi fare sign. There's an ad up on the top. Let's see if we can read that. 20% off food. When I look at this on a bigger screen. So fair enough details. Uh, tail lights painted. The trunk where the uh, backup lights and where the license plate would be. Um, metal body plastic base with rivets. Do I have one of my Motor Max readily available? Well, what I can do is I can compare this Crown Victoria to some other Crown Victoria castings that we've looked at before. Um, this is the real toy police car. And not incredibly fair, but here is the green light. Crown Victoria, an older model Crown Victoria. Um, so this Motor Max is not quite as nice as the best of the Motor Max that I have. Um, and I don't Let's see. But it's not bad. And actually a fairer comparison, sort of apples to apples, would be taxi to taxi. So I have a real toy version of this uh, Crown Victoria also as a taxi, not just as I do love my Crown Victorias. So, I would expect that the Motor Max will be a little bit more detailed than the real toy. And that is fair to say. Uh, it also seems a little smaller. Than the real toy, proportionally. I mean, overall length. But the real toy seems chunkier but they're both but they're both pretty good they're not bad same era um crown victorias the uh 2000 to 2010 uh and of course this is the 1992 crown victoria from Greenlight, black bandit series So, the New York City diorama. We could put a police car there in Times Square, or the cab, or better yet, want to revisit real quickly this uh, 67 Biscayne police car from Greenlight that I showed in last night's video. Um, I've been Googling this, and from what I understand, this is an extremely low production model um i believe it's one of only 1000 which would make it one of the rarer cars in my collection uh, of course i'm a little skeptical on the scarcity but this seems more appropriate except for the lg sign for new york city Times Square of that era. How's that? So the Motor Max may, may actually be a little small for scale. Yeah. 
but that's not terrible. But this is a pretty pretty cool little diorama set. I uh, found this on eBay. Um, I believe it was under $20 uh, or just about $20. Uh, and that's actually just pretty cool. A whole New York City uh, theme. And, if, and uh, I could get all my New York City vehicles. Put the real toy in there. Put the Motor Max. So, um, as I said, I believe this uh, copyright on this uh, was 2009, 2010 release. Uh, American Graffiti Moments in Time, and they have several dioramas available. Um, there's, I believe, a gas station. There's, there's. So if you're if you're interested in looking these up on eBay, they're actually pretty cool. And I will end up storing that in the acrylic. And uh, I don't have a list. I think uh, when I do a video later in, in the week, I will list all the channels that have uh, taken up and done great jobs uh, with the um, Favorite Five Challenge. Uh, I watched uh, Die Diecast Clown 164 today. I saw uh, Twice Diecast. David Johns did it. Uh, uh, Match Matchbox Man. Uh, HW24. Uh, quite a few people, uh, Whale Season, Uno 64, uh, and it's really interesting to see, uh, I saw, um, uh, oh my goodness, uh, Mountain 66 diecast, I think it is, again, I'll have to get a list, um, I saw quite a few responses to that, their videos, great, and it's always interesting, Gary's diecast did it, uh, Gary's diecast collection, uh, it's always interesting to see what cars people pull out as their top five. Uh, it won't always be the most expensive one. Sometimes it's um, a car they owned or uh, just a casting they like. I mean, uh, um, Matchbox Man uh, HW24 had mostly uh, Tomica because that's his wheelhouse. That's that's his like specialty brand. That's uh, his favorite. And one of them was actually a well play worn uh, Toyota High Ace ambulance. And you're like, why is that? Is it well because it's a cool casting to him. And that and and so everybody showed different cars for different reasons. Um, I think it's Todd from uh, Mountain Sixty Six Diecast. I know I'm getting that wrong. Uh, he was like, oh, I had this sixty four Galaxy. Uh, I also had this sixty five Pontiac Grand Prix or. You know, or uh, somebody else was like, oh, my dad had this AMX. And, you know, um, it's just really interesting to, to find out why different castings are special to people. And uh, I think that's half the fun. And I'm really excited about the responses. And I hope you guys are enjoying this, too. So uh, tonight was a little ill-prepared. Uh, had a busy day at work. Got home late. And, uh, but... This one was a, a, a no-brainer. Um, and to pull out a, a few New York City specials um, and several Crown Victorias. Um, and someday soon I will open this one up. This is another Crown Victoria. And this one has a little person um, right there. So this is another 1992 Ford Crown Victoria LX with Man in Suit uh, from Greenlight, the Hobby Shop, Series 9. Um, and again, I bought this because I actually owned a 1992 Crown Victoria LX. It was one of my favorite cars. Uh, so while having the police and, and taxi versions are nice, uh, having a civilian version is uh, just fantastic. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Um, go check out... Uh, 
all of the folks that did the top their, their favorite five challenge. Uh, there are some impressive castings. There are some impressive stories, um, and uh, it's just it, it, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I really uh, uh, wanted to say thank you to all all those that participated. Uh, even those that did in the comments down below on that, uh, uh, where they put in their, their uh, Rudy Moons and Bob O'Connor, both of those just simply type, uh, typed in their favorite castings because they don't have their own channels. Um, and if you don't have a channel but you want to participate, go back to that video and just in the comments say, you know, this one, this one, this one. You can even see how many, how many characters can you put in comments? I get quite long-winded. I know you can. So, uh, uh, everybody have a good night. Be well. And uh, I'll make another video in a day or two. Thank you.